Hey guys, um, I know this lighting is very much not optimal, but it's also like 3 in the morning, and for some reason I am awake. Yeah, this part of the year my allergies wreak havoc, and I wake up at insanely early hours because of them, and then I can't go back to sleep. So I figure since I'm up anyway, um, may as well make a video, because why not? So, yeah, if my nose sounds stuffy, that is why I cannot breathe through this side, which is a flip from how it usually is. So if I have to wipe my nose, yeah, sorry, I'm not even sick, it's just my allergies being stupid. Actually, this may not even be the greatest time to be making this video, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway, because I don't know why. Yeah, so, anyway, um, yeah, so I got a- I was inspired by the last video I did with the pocket back things to actually oh i know i said i wasn't gonna buy more but i bought more it well to be fair i haven't bought any since 2011 so i think it's been long enough to buy a few by few i mean like 43 but see this is why i always go forever between buying them because I can never buy just a couple of them. I always end up buying, like, all of them that they have at any given time. And, yeah, I have a problem. So, <laughs> this happens not just with these. For the record, this happens with, um, most things I buy. I go a long time before buying them, and then I buy every option that they have of the thing, no matter what it is. It can be these. It can be a nail polish. It can be a lip gloss. It can be... CDs of somebody it can be DVDs. It can, it, yeah, you, you can see how my OCD definitely screws me out of my money many times over. So, <laughs> yeah, that. So, um, anyway, I haven't actually tried them yet because I wanted to do first impressions basically for a video. So, all I did was put them in a purse so they're more easily accessible than in the box, I guess. So, um, yeah, there's a few that I rebought that I realized after they got here that I definitely already had, but I didn't remember when I was buying them if I had them or not, and they were upstairs and I was downstairs, so I didn't feel like going to check, so anyway, yeah, even after this, there's probably going to be a few more of these type of videos, not necessarily of collection type things, but just of, um, I guess, favorites least favorites, the guess that pocket back tag, because why not? Because I'm trying to get in the habit of trying to have some sort of regular schedule for my videos again, so I'm trying. I don't care what it is, it can be something as silly as this, it can be something legitly good, I don't know, but I'm just trying to get back into some sort of schedule of regularly making videos again, so bear with me, I am aware I'm being lame. I don't care. <laughs> if you don't like them, you don't have to watch. So anyway, hopefully my webcam is good enough for this because I used my iPod last time and I don't feel like setting up the iPod right now. So anyway, the first one is Winter Candy Apple, which definitely is one of the ones I had before, but I think this was one of the ones I liked. So I was like, I may as well get more of that because I think I'm going to use a lot. Oh, and to be fair, I actually started using these daily again ever since my nieces and nephews moved back from Arizona and... They were all sick, and I was like, oh, hell no. So I started wearing my little um, holster thing for my hand sanitizers, and anytime they so much as touch me, okay, time to put more on, and pretty much armed with a can of Lysol, and that'd be why I'm not sick, and they are. Like I said, this is just allergies by, like, 10 a.m. They usually clear up, but anyway. Yeah, this one I, I have, but it's a good one, so I don't mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this one is new, and I just thought it was pretty, and I'm actually a little nervous if this one's going to be good or if it sucks. It's uh, Pink Prancer Sugared Strawberries. It's very glittery. I'm not sure if you can tell. I turned on a side lamp, too, to try and get a cross light through here to show glitter in some of them, but I think you can see that. So... Yeah, usually when there's glitter, they're often way too sweet, especially when they're pink ones. But let's find out if this one is or not. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I 
stand corrected. That is actually a really good strawberry one. It's even got like a hint of bitter to it, like a real strawberry. That one's good. I like that one. Bravo. Tis the season. I have got the candle of this one. It's actually right next to my bed. I keep it out year-round just because I like how much it smells. Here's the packaging on it. They changed it since I got my candle of the same scent, but... Yeah, this is sort of a cinnamony sort of scent with like apple undertones to it, but it's really, really nice. And if you were going to get only one winter scent from Bath & Body Works in anything, be it one of these, be it one of the candles, be it the room freshener, I would pick that one hands down. That one is my favorite of them that they make. So it is really, really nice, and I highly recommend that one. This one is another one I had, but I like the packaging on it because it had a fox, and foxes look like Pomeranians, and I have a Pomeranian who looks like a fox, so yeah, I have another Vanilla Bean Noel. But look, it looks like Tolly over here. It's just cute, so I'm a sucker, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, it's just the same vanilla. Actually, I feel like they changed it a little bit since I got the last one, because I actually was wearing the old one yesterday, but... I swear, it feels like they either added something to it or took something away from it, but this sort of vanilla smells a little bit different from before. <laughs> so, excuse me. But, um, okay, next one. This isn't one of the Christmas ones, but I don't think I had it. I'm pretty sure I didn't anyway. It's the Bonjour Pink Bloom one from the Paris collection. It's got a little glittery poodle on it and some carnations, which... Having a January birthday, carnations are my birth month flower, so yeah, I kind of had to. And it's another really pink, glittery one. Yeah, you can see the sparkles, and actually the poodle sparkles too, and not gonna lie, I totally bought it just because I like the packaging, so let's see how it smells. Oh, oh, it kind of went over. <laughs> they overfilled this one. Ooh, that one's nice. That one's just like a floral sort of perfumey type smell. That one's nice. I like when they do the perfumey ones because then I can just dab a little bit right here and wear it like perfume. Yeah, I'm not above that. That's like the main reason that I buy these is because I'm too cheap to buy real perfume usually. I have like a perfume collection but most of it I kind of outgrew. So, okay. <clears throat> Iced blackberries. Blackberry? Yeah, blackberries. Okay. <laughs> Second guessing myself because it's three in the morning. Alright, I feel like this is either going to be really good or really gross. Does it smell like blackberries? Not gross, but not like blackberries. It smells like the raspberry smell, which we used to grow blackberries behind our barn, and they are not the same thing as raspberries. I don't care who tells you what, but there is a difference, and yeah, that just smells like raspberries to me. It needs more of a after hint of bitter to get the blackberry smell, in my opinion. If I were going to be the one to design the smell, that's what I would do to make it more like blackberries. Okay, this one I've been seeing in other people's pocket back videos that seemingly everybody hands down loves, so I felt like, okay, I definitely need to get this one. It's the Vanilla Berry Sorbet, which has been out for a while, but I hadn't bought it yet. But now I have one, so let's see what all the hype is about. Let's see if it lives up to it. Ooh, it does! That one... Oh, God, my nose on Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help the allergies, I'm sure. Um, it's very subtle, but at the same time, it's really sweet. It's not so much vanilla-y as... What would I describe that as? It smells like so yeah, I'm really bad at describing smells. I'm like it smells like something, but I don't know what. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know how exactly you would classify that one, but it's really good though. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of the Twinkleberry one, which actually I forgot that one when I made my other collection video. I had that one on my desk and I forgot to grab it, but I love the Twinkleberry or Berry Twinkle one. 
and I'm sad that they don't make it anymore because I was going to buy more of that because I'm almost out of it. So I'm going to have to hit up eBay and see if anybody is selling that one. But since it's from like 2011, I kind of doubt it. But you never know. But this smells a lot like that, so that's good. Maybe I won't have to hunt it down because that's pretty similar. I like that. Okay, this one, not gonna lie, I also liked the packaging and that it's purple. It's really pretty purple, see? Uh, it looks blue on camera actually, but it's purple. My shirt is also purple, but you probably can't really tell. It looks just gray on this camera. But the Sugar Plum Dream, it's got a cute little reindeer on the front. And my guess is it's going to be sickeningly sweet, but... I know there was another sugar plum one that I bought before and it was like really grossly sweet. So let's find out. Yeah, kinda, but different. It's definitely got the plum tones to it, but mixed with almost a peachy type scent with it. It's not bad. But it is pretty overly sweet. <laughs> but it's not terrible. It's not like so overkill that I can't stand it like some of the last ones. That was actually what put me off from buying them for such a long time was I think the last ones I bought were the 2011 Christmas ones and so many of those were just sickly, sweetly gross that I couldn't even handle to where I was like, I think I'm done collecting these for a while. But given that most of these so far have been actually been pretty good, I may get back into collecting these. <laughs> Uh, this one is from the summer collection, I guess, of this past year, and it's the Pure Paradise one. Yeah, see, everything's backwards with the webcam, so I'm like, oh, where is it? But, yeah, it's another pretty blue one. And let's see. Okay, seriously, right now, it smells similar to that sugar plum one. Are we kidding right now? I'm gonna compare those because that's no, that's that's not it. Go there it is. Okay. For real though, side by side, I'm going to compare these. Like what the hell? It's a very subtle difference, but they're almost the same. What the crap? So I don't even know what's up with that, but they smell like the same thing, basically. Okay, then. This one is I Heart Paris Berry Amour. I feel like I might have had that one before, but I'm not positive. It's another pink glittery one, because why the fuck not? It's got glitter on the heart, if you can... Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that one's not terrible, but not great. It's, eh, it's okay. It's one that, if I needed to use one quite a bit and wanted to go to one that I wouldn't feel bad about using up, I'd probably use that one. Okay, this one I think was from this past year, possibly from the year before. They had a whole line of gemstones. All they still sell is Dazzling Diamond. I'm really sad that I missed out on the sapphire and the amethyst and the ruby and all the other gems, but at least I got one. I got the diamond one. And it's another glittery one. It's very, very shimmery and pretty. I like that a lot. And the packaging, too. The dazzling diamond. That's very pretty. I'm not sure what a dazzling diamond would smell like. It doesn't really say anywhere on it what it's supposed to be, so let's find out. doesn't smell like anything. I don't know if it's because of my allergies or if it like just does not smell like anything. Taking off the cap entirely. <laughs> Bringing the big guns. <laughs> I'm getting the rubbery, uh, rubbing alcohol part of it, but... Okay, for real though, what even is that supposed to be? I feel like there's a really, really really subtle berry but I'm not positive but it 
barely has a smell at all. That's probably why they discontinued that line, apparently. <laughs> okay, well. This one is Merry Cookie, which... Oh my god, given the last Christmas collection I got, I am very nervous about is going to basically be the pure sugar smell. If it is, it'll probably never get worn. I'll probably give it to my sister, but let's find out. Oh! No, no, it's not like that. That is strange. That is like butter cookie, and they actually got the butteriness to it. It doesn't smell like straight up butter, but they got the butteriness of a butter cookie. Whoa! Wow! That's pretty cool! They got the butteriness and the vanilla in it. it the, that's really accurate. You would fool me into thinking there's butter cookies around when that, that was... Okay! That's pretty cool! I like that! Okay, this one's mahogany teakwood. I don't really know what teakwood is. I'm assuming it's a tree, given there's trees on it, but it's also from the Christmas collection, but... Yeah, I've heard teak mentioned before in furniture, so obviously it's a type of wood, but I don't know what it is, so... Yeah, given some of the wood ones I've had before, I didn't have them in hand sanitizers, I had them in the candles, because I bought, like, the whole Christmas collection of candles, and they have different scents for those. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be good or gross, so let's find out. Oh, it smells like my grandpa's cologne. Oh. Wow, okay, I'm probably not going to use I'm going to, like, hold on to that one, because that smells exactly like my grandpa on my mom's side's cologne, and he passed away in 2003, so... Wow, that just took me back. Oh my goodness. Wow, I want to smell that again. That was that was a trip. Oh, I'm very endeared to that one. <laughs> okay, this one I'm not sure if it's from the Fresh Pick collection or if it was just from Spring and they're still selling it. But this one is Golden Apricot. My guess it's going to be very similar to the peach ones, because peaches and apricots are more or less basically the same thing, kind of. So, let's find out. Yeah, pretty much. It's a little more subtle. It's got, like, a little more hint of sweet to it. It's not like the peach ones from, like, the Fresh Pick Peach Collection, where I was like, I swear I'm also smelling orange or tangerine with the peach. This one is just straight up peach, so... That may be a new favorite. I like that an awful lot. I may get more of that if I use it up. This one is Ocean for Men. I can't remember if I had this one before. I know I had Noir for Men, but I don't know if I had this one or not. I might have. Oh, <laughs> it's it's all good. What the hell? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let me tell you something about Ocean for Men. Ocean for Men smells exactly like my Vicks inhaler. But, uh, that's why I was like, what the crap? Do I just have the smell from the... No, it apparently smells like a Vicks inhaler. So if you know what Vicks vapor rub or a Vicks inhaler smells like, it smells like that. Oh boy. This one, I'm going into it knowing it's probably going to be disgusting. I bought it anyway. We all know how my luck with salted caramel things has been lately. I used to find pretty good salted caramel stuff, but my track record in the past few months has not been good with salted caramel things. There was the... what was it? Um, the salted caramel... Not meringues, what were they? Macarons, or macaroons, or whatever the hell they are. And that was pretty blah. And there was those pastries I had, and those were just straight up disgusting. Hold on, I need another tissue. But, um, yeah, um, 
given those. I'm kind of nervous that this is going to be more of the same, but I have high hopes that maybe it'll be what breaks the streak of bad salted caramel stuff. It's pretty color anyway. It's like tealy, turquoise. It's showing up more blue on my camera, but um, it's actually got a greenish hint to it. It's like ocean water color. It's pretty nice. Let's find out. It's not bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's really not bad. Yeah, if that were a candy, I would eat that. That actually, it's like if Werther's Original had a smell, it would smell like that. Like the taste of Werther's Original tastes like that smells. So not bad. If you like those, then you'll probably like that. I'm pleasantly surprised right now. Okay, iced gingerbread. I'm not sure if this is the gingerbread one I had already or if this is a new one. If it's the one I already had, it's a different packaging. But I'm not positive. Anyway, that's the packaging. It's a little mouse dancing with a gingerbread man. It's very cute. No glitter. I thought there was, but there's not. Okay, let's find out. A lot more subtle than I was expecting. I was expecting to kind of get blown over by the over gingerbread. Okay, this could not be the same one that I've already got because the other one is so strong that it's kind of gross. But... That one's okay. I may feel different after I have it on my hands and have to smell it all day, but for right now, in the bottle, that one seems very okay. Okay, winter cranberry. I don't know if this is the cranberry one I had or if this is a different cranberry. It's, it's the same thing like with the gingerbread. It may or may not be the same sort of dealy, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I had. But I like that one, so that's good. It's like apple and cranberry, which um, Ocean Spray actually makes a juice of apple and cranberry, and I love it. So that's probably why I like this. We basically always have some of that on hand, so. Okay. This one is Twisted Peppermint. I have actually never smelled Twisted Peppermint before, but my best friend's favorite Bath & Body work smell ever is Twisted Peppermint, and they had discontinued the scent for a long time, and she was like devastated, and I remember having to help her hunt on eBay looking for um, the shampoo and the body wash and the hand lotion set. Oh my gosh, so Twisted Peppermint, yeah, I've kind of been curious ever since what it actually smells like, given the big deal she made out of finding it, so now I'm like, ooh, is it gonna live up to the hype? I've got high hopes for this, because if it meets her approval, it's probably really good. Because Jessica has good taste. Ooh! That smells exactly like a candy cane. That is really nice. If you like candy canes, you'll love this. If you hate candy canes, you'll hate this. <laughs> I like them, so there you go. Um, Ski Bunny Winter Bloom. Well, it's really cute packaging anyway, and yet more pink glitter. The irony here? I fucking hate pink. And yet, the grand majority of these that I seem to have in my collection, I have more pink than anything. But it doesn't go on pink, it just goes on clear. Although, since this has glitter, it's not... It's clear, but you have glitter all over your hands. So, yeah, um... At this point, since I have an Etsy business, I can only wear the glitter ones on days that I'm not working on projects, because otherwise people get hats and scarves with glitter on them, and I don't think people want that. So anyway, yeah, let's find out what Ski Bunny smells like. <laughs> Again, too close. It smells like soap. It's like floral soap. Like, rose, I think? Either rose or carnation. I think it's rose. Pretty sure. 
my grandma used to have some soap in her back bathroom that smelled a lot like this so I'm just like it smells like soap but it's not terrible I was expecting this to be another one of the pure sugary ones so I'm glad that it's not because I don't like the pure sugar ones because those generally get given to Kimberly because I don't like them with their pure fucking sugar. Okay, this one is Raspberry Meringue. And that one I have high hopes for, and being a Dudley Moore fan, anything with raspberry in the title is automatically hilarious to me. Let's see. Not smelling any meringue, just raspberry. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess meringues don't really have much of a smell since aren't they just like egg whites and sugar? Yeah, I guess it would be just raspberry. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't cook. What the hell am I talking about? Ms. Owl Berry Swirl. Okay, so there was a back to school collection. I think this is the only one they still sell of it, though. That is cute anyway. Whoop. There. So, let's see. That's nice. It's like... It's berries, but with flowers of some sort. I cannot tell you what sort of flowers, because I don't know, but it's definitely got floral undertones, but... Mostly berry. That's pretty cool. Ooh, okay. I get excited whenever there's pumpkin ones. We all know that. I fucking love the pumpkin ones. This one is pumpkin frost. I do not have this yet. Well, I guess now I do, given it's in my hand. But I did not yet have a pumpkin frost in my collection. So this is exciting. I remember seeing this one online for a while since I think about Halloween and being like, I want one. And I thought I was still on my whole thing of, yeah, I'm not going to buy any more till I use them up. But since I kind of went back on that, yeah. I take it back. I'm disappointed. This is more like what I expected the caramel one to smell like. It's. I smell no pumpkin there. Like, maybe the tiniest hint of it. It's kind of like that creamy pumpkin one. Like, the main scent in that that I disliked is in this. But also caramel. How that translates to pumpkin frost, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it should have been a tip-off that there is a white pumpkin on it. Like the creamy pumpkin. Ah, damn. Oh, well. We knew there had to be at least one dud in the batch. Okay, this one's from the summer too. This one is Honolulu Sun. It's another pretty blue. Ooh! This makes up for the pumpkin because this one's so nice. This one smells like... Coconut and... Something. I don't know what the something is. I think it's some sort of Hawaiian flower with coconut. But we all know that the coconut ones are generally my favorite. So I guess this is no surprise that I really like that. This is probably my favorite one I've opened so far today. Okay. This one I got more or less as a joke just because it looks so bizarre. I had to know what it's like. Brown sugar and carrots. This is probably going to be fucking disgusting. And yet, my mom used to make carrots with brown sugar on them. So I'm not sure why I seem to think this is going to be so gross. Because taste-wise, actually, carrots are really good if you put brown sugar on them. But smell-wise, I feel like this is going to be really gross and be like baby puke or something, but I don't know why they would make a smell of that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting this to smell like other than gross, but let's find out. Really? 
again with the caramel. <sighs> I'm not smelling any carrots, so I guess that's good. Although carrots don't really have much of a smell. I guess I was expecting it to smell like carrots taste, but I don't... Well, I guess it'd just be like more of a grassy smell if they were gonna do that, but... Yeah, I'm definitely not smelling carrots there. If they're in that, it must be so subtle that you cannot pick up on what it is. But yeah, there's very much brown sugar that smells like caramel. It has got the color of a carrot, but... I'm thankfully not smelling any carrots. I'm not sure why they're showing purple carrots on the label, though. That's a bit weird. Okay, moving on. Okay, this one's just called Winter. I've actually got the candle of this one, too, and I know it's really nice, so... Hold on. Okay, let's see if that helps, because it's a subtle one. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of got a minty and... Is it evergreen or is it fur for Christmas trees? Regardless, it's like Christmas trees and mint, kind of. And it's really nice. Uh, the candle version, I think, is white. I believe it's got it over there somewhere. I think I'm looking at it, but... Yeah, I think it's on top of my TV and I don't feel like getting it to compare. But the candle is a lot more fragrant than... Um, the hand sanitizer version, so sorry, I know I'm gross, but must be done. So. Okay, this one is pink chiffon, and it looks like it has loofahs on the cover. What the crap? Those are probably supposed to be flowers. I think. Maybe. Unless that's chiffon. I don't know. And look, it's yet another fucking pink glitter. Why the fuck do I have so many pink? I just, ugh, I hate pink so much, but like I said, it's not like it goes on pink, so I get them anyway, but if it went on pink, it'd be a deal breaker. I'd be like, yeah, hell no. So I'm expecting this one to be gross. Not gonna lie. I'm full on expecting this to be gross. I don't know why I bought it. And it got on me. If it's gross, I'm really gonna regret that. It's only a little gross, actually. It, it's not that good, but it's not flipping terrible either. I can't even, like, put my finger on what the hell that smells like. It's kind of like another combo of berry and floral, but something else, like probably sugar, and doesn't particularly work. Eh. I don't know. Ginger snap. I don't know what difference that's going to be to the other gingerbread one. Let's compare after I smell it. Let me get it on hand. Okay, there's the other one. This one's ginger snap. Okay, so this one smells more like what I already had in my collection before I bought these than this one did. But side by side comparison. They're very similar. They're almost the same thing, but. The iced gingerbread one has, I think, vanilla in addition to it, while Ginger Snap has just, I don't know, I think just sugar. Yeah, they're very similar, but there is a difference, believe it or not, but they are very, very similar, and yeah, if you could only get one, you're probably not missing out on a whole lot. I would stick with the iced gingerbread if you could only get one, though. I like that one a little more. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, this one is... Cherry Pinwheel Sweet Cherry. I'm not even that big a fan of cherry. I don't know. It was just cute. So, there's the Cherry London one, but 
is out of production now that I'll probably hit up eBay just because it has a double-decker British bus on it, but yeah, it's another charity thing. As I thought, it smells like cherry medicine. Not good. <laughs> oh well. There had to be a couple duds. We all knew that. So this one is Snowman Snow Pop Marshmallow. Um, I can almost guarantee this is going to be sickeningly sweet. I'm like bracing myself for it. Yep. Yep. Pretty much exactly what I thought. This is like the exact smell of the ones from that other winter collection that I could not stand because it's so sweet. This is exactly that. That is not what a marshmallow smells like. <laughs> really? Like, maybe you could, as a stretch, claim it is a Rice Krispie treat, but you'd really, really be stretching it. I mean, if that... No, it smells more like sugar than marshmallow. It just, uh, no. Skip that. Unless you want it for the packaging. Yeah. Okay, this one is Too Many Cookies. It is vanilla cookie. And it's got a Santa Claus stuck in a chimney. Because he's fat. <laughs> Duh, Captain Obvious. Told you it's really early in the morning. My brain's not awake yet. Okay, see, that's not as sickeningly sweet as I was. It's still pretty sweet, but. I can tolerate that one. It's more like basically any body mist you've probably ever owned that smells like vanilla smells like this. But sweeter a little bit. Not terrible. Not my favorite, but not terrible. Fresh sparkling snow. Okay, anything that generally in real life does not have an actual scent, I'm leery of, because they can put anything and just call it that for the theme, but that's the packaging. It's a pretty picture, and it's blue, so I like it, and I don't know what it smells like yet, so I'm probably going to be eating my words. Um, the hell? Somehow I'm getting, like, melon from that, which I love melon, but how that plays into s fresh sparkling snow, I'm confused. Am I, like, picking up on things that aren't even really there now? Like, what even? Yeah, that is not watermelon necessarily, like maybe a honeydew, but that smells like melon to me. I'm kind of curious what the website claims it's supposed to be now, but yeah, that just smells like melon in my opinion. So, okay, um, this one is Winter Citrus Wreath. It's got a nice picture, nice little peachy orange tone to it. Mandarin oranges and Christmas wreath, like Christmas tree smell. That's pretty much straight up whoops, what this one smells like. Hey, I was actually able to accurately tell you what one smells like for once. That's rare. That's pretty good. This one is Sweet Clementine from the Fresh Pick Collection. I don't think I had this one before. I think I only had Fresh Pick Strawberries, Pears, Peaches, and Tangerines before, so... And this smells an awful lot like citrus wreath, except minus the Christmas tree part. So do you know. Okay, this one is Mad About You, which actually I know what this one smells like because my sister has the body mist of this and she let me smell it last week. So I kind of got a sneak preview of this one and what do you know? Another glittery pink. Really? Can't you guys um make other glittery pretty colors. 
Just saying. Just saying. Grand majority seem to be pink. But at least it's a really nice smell, though. A little bit like soap, though. But it's mostly florally and... It smells like a perfume I do have. It's kind of like Avon's Roses Roses, which I have worn since I was seven years old, which I probably shouldn't be proud of the fact that I still wear it, but that one's not even a child scent. I just have old tastes, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> also from the Fresh Pick collection, this one is Anjou Pear. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Given it's also from Fresh Picked, I don't know if this is just going to be identical to the pear one I already have, but yeah. But tell me if I'm saying that word wrong. Anjou. It may be something else. Yeah, it pretty much smells identical to the other one, but I like pears, so that's okay. But yeah, that pretty much is just the same thing that it was before, just a fancier name. Okay, as a Wizard of Oz fan, I had to get this one. There's no place like Gnome. Yeah, I'm lame. And it's red, like the ruby slippers. What are we supposed to do? Click the top three times? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm really reaching now. It's early. I'm sorry. This one smells like... One of the winter candles smells just like this. I don't know which one offhand. It's one of the red ones, though. Identical scent. It's like apples, Christmas trees, and cinnamon. It's really good, though. It's really good. Okay, this one is called Beautiful Day, and I've seen a lot of other YouTubers just going on about how much they love this one, so I have high hopes that it's gonna be really good and live up to the hype. But let's find out. Ah, it just goobered all over my hand. Oh, Well, I guess I'll be wearing that one today because it just went flipping everywhere. Thankfully, that is really good. That lives up to the hype. And that smells even more like Roses Roses than the other one did. Holy shit. I kind of want to do like a side-by-side -side of those, but I don't feel like going into my bathroom to get one of my bottles of that. I have like five bottles of that. Because like everybody used to buy me Roses Roses when I was little because I used to love it so much. And then I went through a burnout phase on it where I didn't wear it for like ten years and I started wearing it again. I don't wear it all the time, but... Yeah, I try to not wear the same scent every day. Okay, this one... I think I already had this one, but not positive. The Island Margarita. I've never even had margarita. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're supposed to smell like. Let's see. If this is one I already had, which I feel like it is, I feel like they may have changed the scent since I last bought it. Because I feel like the one I already had was disgusting, but this one actually is really good. Or I may be being influenced by that hand having sanitizer. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was smelling the flowers from that. Okay, never mind. Alright, so. Excuse me. Um. Hmm. That definitely smells different than I remember it smelling. Because I remember the other one had like a really weird wangy after smell. That I could not put my finger on what the hell it was. And this does not. This one's just nice. So if it's the one I've already got, then they have improved on it. And bravo to them for fixing it. Because the other one was really gross. Okay, this one... I feel like I had it too, but since it's stress relief, I figured I probably need it, so there's that one. It's a sideways label. The 
eucalyptus spearmint. Actually, for as much as I usually hate eucalyptus, that one's pretty good. I think I like that one. Okay, we're getting near the end of these new ones. I think I've got three left. This one is Cherry Almond Shortbread. It's really cute packaging. I like that. I kind of want to make some shortbread cookies now, even though I don't cook, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. That's really accurate. There is cherry, but not like overwhelming, nasty, artificial cherry. It's like real cherry. And you can definitely pick up on almond as well. Not so sure about the shortbread part, but the cherry and the almond are very distinctly there. That's that's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to just be like the cherry Tylenol thing again. But that's actually really good. Bravo. Snow-kissed berry, I am also hoping might be um, another clone for... What was it? Was it winter? No, it wasn't winter berry. Twinkle berry, or berry twinkle, whatever the crap it was. I'm hoping it'll smell like that then. Because it's a similar name, the similar, well, the color's not similar, the packaging is. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't really smell like it. But still good. It smells like. I don't know. Huh. Like really sweet berries with... That's... I can't put my finger on it. But there's something in addition to berry here. Which is really, really good though. This is probably another favorite from this batch. That's really good, whatever is mixed with it. Even though I can't tell what it is. Okay, and the last one I'm iffy on if it's going to be good or not is white pear and fig. It could go either way. So. And another one just went blah all over me. When they overfill them, when you first get and open them, sometimes they just go everywhere. So. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting mix, given I have the one kind on the other hand. But, seems to be an okay mix, so. That's pretty alright. Yeah, that's basically just pears. I don't know if it smells like fig, really, but there is something else there. See, I just got out of my hand, so I might as well just smell my hand. Ignore the awkwardness. I guess that could smell like a fig. Sort of. My grandparents on my mom's side used to have a fig tree, and I was the only one that would eat them with my grandma because everybody else hated those things. So I'm like, I, I guess you could say that's figish. I never really thought of fig as having much of a scent, but thinking about what a fig tastes like and translating that into a smell. Okay, alright, I guess that kind of kind of makes sense, and yeah, that is the last of the new ones. So, eventually I'll get around to doing an updated collection video where I just show the labels, but I figure I'll wait till I get more new ones after this, which will probably be a while, because they sometimes make new ones for New Year's, and then it's generally pretty quiet until, like, Valentine's Day and then spring. So, maybe after those I'll do another collection one, but... I will be doing like a favorites and a least favorites and playing the guess that pocket bag game. I'll probably do that one more than once because I expect I'm gonna suck at it like really miserably so I'll probably do a few rounds of it like whenever I need to do a video and can't think of a video topic just because yeah I told you I'm trying to get back into some sort of schedule here so anyway those are the new ones that I've got and hopefully it's been informative if you guys were looking at any of them online and thinking about if they're good or not and hopefully I've answered some of those questions for you so okay bye!